Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video on the little blue ZX today. Um, if you like car repair videos or you like the idea of what I'm getting up to with a refurbishment of this uh, little ZX, please consider subscribing because it helps the channel grow. And um, if you do subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell icon so you get notified of all the future uploads. Right, so what are we up to today? Well, would you guys like to see me put the bumper on? I know I would, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the rear bumper, the spare wheel cage, and the spare wheel. Also, in other news, the Jeep is gone, but not forgotten. It will be, it's uh, temporarily stored elsewhere because there will be another car coming to the channel shortly, which isn't mine, but I will be doing some work on it for someone, so that will be here shortly um probably start working on that next week's videos um that's the spare wheel that won't be getting refurbished because i'm going to be changing it out at some point anyway and i can't bother to refurbish it it is only a spare wheel so that will just be going on the zx as it is untouched um we've got the bumper here but because we've put the tow bar on i may or may not have to cut out a cut out on the middle but i will test fit it off camera just to see if that is the case or not and um also off camera guys i have already removed the plastics and folded the carpet down so we can get access to the other side of these tape which is screw holes so the bumper goes through there and we'll get this wire clipped up as well and like i said we may or may not have to do a cut out on the bumper but i'll test fit it i reckon we will actually to be fair because that goes around underneath there and that's just there so i reckon we're going to have to cut out but um probably do the cut out off camera and then bring you guys back so um we're just doing the fitting part so stay tuned and we'll get that done so guys i've come to a conclusion that the bumper will need to be cut so i'll do it off camera and bring you back in a little while but um first things first we're gonna get these plastic trim bit, uh, clip bits off of here this is the uh, spare wheel carrier we're going to clean this up so it's not crusty and horrible and um, chuck some paint on this so what i'll do is i'll bring you back when it's clean then i'll bring you back when it's painted sorry guys but i did kind of get a bit carried away because it's one of the, another one of them really hot days and um i just wanted to get it knocked out and done this has been painted already and it's now ready to go back on the car i've got the um the jack that goes into this section just here i've got my um brace bar which actually does the cage up and does the jack and does the wheel nuts i've got the spare wheel sitting just there waiting to go on I've also got, because uh, Citroen are very kind in the sense of actually doing a pre-designated cutout location. So I literally cut this out with a Dremel, use the Dremel to sand it down a bit and then use some paper, sandpaper just to kind of uh, give it a little bit of a final touch. And I'm obviously I'm not going to paint it because it's only plastic and it ain't going to rust or rot or anything. So um, that's that done. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to get these 13s out. Um, just like so and then we'll um, get you set up and we'll put we're gonna put the cage on first with a spare wheel because obviously without the bumper in the way we'll be able to see more with what I'm doing with a cage and then after that we'll then uh, put the bumper back on so the first thing we need to do guys is we need to get the cage hooked into this hole here and then slotted into that groove just there um, so we'll do that and that literally just has to go like so. He says. And then swing round and hook in just like so. And now we can put the um, jack into that bit. And the jack has clips here and clips here. And what we do is we clip these ones into this bar just here and then we'll then push these other two clips just here down onto that bit so if i flip that over that will slot just in there like so and like that and then we just give that
and that's in just like so. Now let's put the wheel in and lift it up. So that goes up here like so. And the easiest way to do this is to sort of put the wheel to a similar profile as what the bar is at, like so. And then we lift from underneath and give the wheel a push, holding that like so, and then it'll hook just nicely onto its hook there. And then we've got to do this hook up from above. From above. So Citroen do give you a little uh, cut out to open it with, but I'm just thinking might be easier for me to see if I just do that and put something heavy on it. Uh, what have I got that's heavy? A couple of wiper motors. So that now makes it easier for you guys to see. Where's my bar gone? Literally just slot that into there and just tighten it up. But this is a bit awkward, so. Why they couldn't have put a 19 mil socket on the end so we could use the same socket as the wheels, I have no idea, but never know, that might be a modification I do in the future. 19 mil socket on the top of there and use the um, same bit as doing the wheels on it. But yep, that's nice and tight. That's all done. Now let's get the bumper done. So we're gonna fit the bumper now, guys, and I know you can probably hear me quite well now because I'm literally behind the camera, but it is a little bit windy and I will apologize now, just in case you can't hear me. But we're literally gonna put the bumper on, um, clip it on both sides, and um, then bolt it all up. Literally, if we just hook that over there, that should be. I'm thinking I haven't tried test it in this actually, so it should be all right. I hope. Yes, it fits. Move that wire up there so it doesn't get caught. So that's now fitted guys and all we got to do is bolt it all up so i'll get it all bolted up and then i'll uh, bring you guys back and just like that guys that's all done i've put all these trims back in it's all done up underneath and the wheels are back on um so that's pretty much it for this video sorry it's a short one but unfortunately there's nothing else left for today to do so guys, sorry this is a shorter video than normal, but it's just such a hot day today. I smell awful and the heat is just getting me. So there is plenty still to do, but I've just had enough for today. Um, so there is some news for the channel. And um, as you guys are probably, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, you're hopefully enjoying my content. Um, uh, and I'm enjoying making it. But um, the recording of it and the work on the cars is the easy bit. Sitting for four hours last night to edit yesterday's video, however, is a little bit... Uh, but even, nevertheless, that doesn't mean content's going to stop. But what I have been doing lately is I have been doing daily uploads. And they will continue until Saturday. Saturday will be my, this Saturday will be my last of my daily uploads and then I'm going to 
hit a schedule of Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6 o'clock. Leaving Sunday still as um, my odd projects day. Which will be as and when I have an odd project that I think you guys might be interested in. Like I've done the uh, dual dash cam sat nav. So um, as you guys will be aware of in this video the Jeep is gone. Not forgotten. But it's um, temporarily stored elsewhere because in the next couple of days or so there will be another car to trace the channel I'm not going to tell you guys what that is just yet but it isn't my car it's just some work i'm doing for a friend of mine and um he has given me permission to record it and put some content out there for you but unfortunately it's not a zx but it's still content it's uh we're going to be doing a fair bit of work on it and hopefully you'll enjoy me do it enjoy that content the reasons why I am planning to do a Monday, Wednesday and Friday schedule is because without work, I've got plenty of time. But having plenty of time is nice, but even though you get to watch these videos for free, they cost me money because I need to buy parts and stuff like that. So money is completely run out. So I have taken a decision to made a decision to go back to work and I'm going to ease back into full time work um, over the next week or so. Um, but in the process of doing that, time will be restricted as well. So I, wa I want to be faithful to all my lovely subscribers and any new subscribers that I get. Um, so I want to keep putting the content out there. But unfortunately, life has to get back on track now, so that's why I'm losing the daily uploads and we will be doing a schedule of Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But hopefully you'll enjoy that and um, also because of it, the videos will probably, end, I'm, I'm sure the videos will become much better quality because I will have um, less of a demand on not putting out every day sort of thing. So um, for now, guys, I'm going to bid you farewell. Thank you for watching my content. Thank you for being a lovely subscriber if you are. And thank you to any new subscribers that may decide to join in the future. But what I will say, I will say bye for now. Take care and stay safe. Also, if you would like to watch another one of my amazing videos, you can do that just here. And if you would like to subscribe, please consider subscribing. You can do that just here. Take care, guys. Bye for now.